Governor DeWine and I had been elected, but we hadn't taken office yet. And I remember where I was because I was actually taking a day off uh, and I was going to go deer hunting. All right, so I'm off on my trip. It's a Sunday night, and I get a call. It says tomorrow GM's going to announce they're closing the Lordstown facility. And I'm like, wow, welcome to office, right? It was devastating. Um, but I can tell you from that very moment, I considered a mission to try to make sure that we were not victims, that we were victors. Uh, when bad things happen, you just have to dig deeper. You have to dig harder. You have to, you have to fight harder to get to where you want to go. And uh, I remember that very our second day in office, we flew up to Detroit to, to see uh, GM CEO and, and, uh, and the GM team to talk about the future of that facility, talk about other investments they could make. And you know, in the end, we, the director, Jobs Ohio, the governor, we can only put our best case forward. Companies make the decisions on their own where they're going to invest. But we asked GM that as they were closing that facility that they owed the state $28 million. We asked them to give some of that back to the Valley to invest in operations like this because there is a bright future. There is a future that involves the Voltage Valley, the, the future that involves training the workforce for the next the next opportunities in life. And I will tell you that in Ohio today, the future is bright. Uh, we've had, because we've had, this is what's happening in the world right now, which is important for you to all understand where the opportunity is. In, in a, in a pre-COVID, that was a pre-COVID world where all those things happened. Now we're in a post-COVID world, or at least almost post-COVID world. But things have changed. People have realized that they can do things from far away, and that they ha can no longer depend on a global supply chain. Businesses are starting to reinvest in America. Look, the very thing that hurt, because look, my, my family had to leave Ohio because when, it, it, when the manufacturing, when globalization hit, the factory my dad worked at closed, and my family had to leave Ohio to look for work. That was many decades ago. Now. The spotlight's coming back to America, it's coming back to the Midwest, and it's Ohio's time to win a disproportionate share of those opportunities. And we only win if we're prepared to take advantage of those opportunities. And those opportunities are coming our way. We, Governor and I were just at an announcement where Peloton's building its global manufacturing center in Ohio. I was just with, a, with another business uh, yesterday that's looking at building uh, their U.S. supply chain in Ohio. We have LG Chem, we have all of these things with GM that create opportunities all around our state. And the question is, will we be prepared to take advantage of it? And will the workforce, will we have the workforce to take advantage of it? Because I'm gonna tell you this right now. Ohio is a great place to do business. The Midwest is a great place for the global supply chain. The question is, will it be in your community that they choose because you were ready for it? And I have to tell you that it makes me so excited to know when you walk around this place, I, I, I go everywhere in Ohio. One of the things that the governor's asked me to do is to lead on workforce. I go everywhere in Ohio. I've never seen a more impressive facility than this one. Look at what you have over there. Those are the same kind of robots over there that are operating in high-tech manufacturing settings all around the state of Ohio and all around the country and all around the world right now. All the machines that I see in this, these are not old hand-me-downs. This is the real stuff. People are getting trained on the machinery and equipment of the future. And the key is to talking to mom and dad and grandpa and grandma and maybe somebody who's in a, a career they're not fulfilled with to know that they can come right here and be be prepared for a fantastic future. Right now in Ohio, we have, just at ohiomeansjobs.com itself, we have over 200,000 jobs. 
113,000 of those jobs pay $50,000 a year or more. Right now, we're creating jobs faster than we can find, find people to fill them, but they need the skills. I beg, I plead for anybody who will listen, come here and get your skills. Come here and get the education. For most people, it will be, it won't cost you a dime. But education cannot, people talk about free education. Many courses here you'll have access at no cost, okay? I can't speak for all of them, I don't know all, but a lot of them here you can have access at no cost. But an education can't be given to you. It must be taken. You must make an effort to enroll find a career pathway to work at it and to take from from what is what is offered here to make you to make your community to make our state a great place where when businesses are making these decisions to locate they'll choose here when they choose to expand they'll choose here and um, I'm excited about the potential so excited about it we have job training at the high school level in our career centers where college and careers can go along hand in hand, industry credentials, college credits. You leave, you go right to work, you have college credits in your pocket. You can come here and you can advance those. And even after you're in work, we have programs like TechCred and IMAP that allow you to continue to earn credentials and credits and, and college credits long after you're back in the workforce. Learning is a lifelong process. I tell you what, I, I'm 53. Every day, I have to work to make myself better. I have to figure out how to be smarter than all the other lieutenant governors in the country, to be smarter than China, to be smarter than the people who are leaders in Europe, so that America and Ohio is a great place. This facility allows that to happen. It is, it's fantastic. There's, I, I defy somebody to show me another place in the world where you have access to more equipment in a more affordable way and a better access to the jobs that are being trained than right here. They're being created than right here. Sometimes when things happen in our own communities, we don't realize how awesome they are. 